Arch Oblers lights out everybody. <laughs> Arch Obler bringing you another in our series of stories of the unusual. And once again, we caution you. These lights out stories are definitely not for the timid soul. So we tell you calmly and very sincerely, if you frighten easily, turn off your radio now. A man and a woman in the Bronx apartment. And an evening you may never forget with the visitor from Hades. Shut the window. A little quiet we'll have. Want me to suffocate? Suffocate. Forty-two years now I've lived in the Bronx. Do I look like I suffocate? Oh, come on, Dora. Be nice. We'll have quiet and we'll talk. Uh, all right. Yeah, better, better. So come, sit down, Dora. Come on, sit and we'll talk. I don't know if I want to talk about it anymore. Now, don't talk like something without a head. Why shouldn't you talk? Good reason. I'm sick of it. So, if you're sick inside, God forbid you see a doctor. If you're sick in the head, you talk to me. Who's better you should talk to than your own mother? Even if only by marriage. It makes me sick. News you're telling me makes you sick. Listen, darling. For 30 years, Sam's papa made me so sick even to look at him. I used to close my eyes like you close from uh, a piece of dirt flies in your eyes. He's good looking enough. Uh, Washington. And not even Washington by the president. Washington, Washington, he has to run away to. A traveler in the family. Not with me, he won't. Uh, not with himself either. Now, believe me, it's up to you, Dora. Fighting, fighting all the time. If you knew how sick I was of it. So better fighting and getting what you want, believe me. Uh, the door. Yes, I heard. Now, if it's Sam. Sam, a ten after four. Yeah, him and a bank president. Ah, mister in a hurry, whoever it is. Just a superintendent. And he fixed the light in the bathroom. All right, all right. Sam? Dora? Is it Sam? Yes, Ma, it's Sam. Now, Sam, don't start anything. Well, what should he start? With his own mama, he should start. Ma, I thought I asked you to stay away from Dora when I'm not here. Sam, I tell you, don't start that again. Mama, answer me. Didn't I ask you to stay away? Mamas who aren't welcomed by their daughters in marriage, I've heard of. But an own son... Now, don't want... get melodramatic, Ma. All I'm asking is that you don't see Dora when I'm not around. We had that understanding. Sam, we... you stop. Why should I stop? All right, all right. So both stop. I got a home. I'll go. Oh, Ma, for Pete's sake, why can't you talk to No, I don't want to talk. I don't want to stay. Oh, goodbye. i talk to you tomorrow, darling. All right. And don't forget what I told you. New York is good enough. Of course, Mother. Goodbye. Goodbye. New York's good enough for what? For you. So she has been at it again. Dora, why won't you listen to me? She isn't right for you, my ma. Maybe I haven't heard that one. Then hear it again because it's true. All her life, everything she's done's been wrong. My pa, he was a swell guy, but she ruined him and his business. The way she's trying to ruin you and me. Little boy getting excited. Listen, she ran him and his life. What he should do, not do, she breathed for him. And pretty soon he was glad to die. Believe me, glad to die. Stop yelling at me. The neighbors hear you all right. Half as loud. The yeah, devil was the neighbors. They don't have to stand ten hours a day in that sweat shop. I do. If you had what it takes, you wouldn't have to work for other people. You'd have a place for yourself. I'd have a place for myself if you'd stop spending every nickel a week before I make it. I got a right to live. Have fun, ain't I? Can I help it? I'm married a dumb jerk can make a decent living. Don't say those things. I warn I you. I said them yesterday. I'll say them now. I'll say them again. You're a jerk. You're a big empty-headed jerk. Stop it, I Your tell you. Your right. She's always right. The only way to feed a jerk like you is to spend every cent to make us a present. Hey, Dora, tell me. So you can keep on. I'm telling you, Dora. You're a jerk. A jerk. A jerk. Stop it. A jerk like your pa was Don't a jerk. say that, my pa. A jerk. You're my jerk. Dora, stop it. A fat-headed jerk who never reminds me of a jerk. All right, I'll stop you. A jerk. Oh, oh. They have hands. 
I didn't mean to stop looking at me like that. I didn't know what I was, but my hands... But don't blame me. Blame yourself. My pa, the things you said, you wouldn't have said that if if you knew him. He was good. His face was so thin and quiet when my ma'd start in on him for nothing. For nothing, I tell you. His eyes were like a dog. You kicked. That's why I wouldn't stand here saying those things. Not about my pa. What'd you say about me? All right. I'm used to it. First my mother used to. Now you. But not about him. You understand? Not about him. Well, don't stand there holding your neck looking at me. Say something. I hate you. All right. And I hate you so much. I could kill you. And I you. Window. The dining room. So who cares? But a window broke, didn't you hear it? I'll let her break up the house. Oh, Sam. Oh, I'll go myself. Oh, kids, I told the superintendent to keep him off the street. If he thinks I'll pay for the glass, he's got to... Sam! Huh? Sam! <laughs> What's the matter? What's the matter with you? What? Sam! Look! What? Oh, no. Sam. What? Sam. What do you... Sam. Stop saying my name like that over and over for the last five minutes. Why do you do that? Who? What? I don't know. I don't. Make it go away. Make it go away, Sam. Yeah. Yeah. My flat. You. You. What do you want here? Who are you? Who are you? Get out of here. Do you hear me? Get out of here. I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out. No, go away. No, no, let go of me. I'm getting out of here. No, stop. <laughs> Can't you see he's getting up? Don't move. Where is he? He's sitting down in front of the door. It's like a scream. I'm afraid he... The police. Sam, call the police. Yeah, yeah the police. I'll call. No. No, how, how can I? Well, don't stand there. The telephone. You, you stop. Try. You've got to. Right. All right, but walk, walk, walk alongside of me. I, I feel so dizzy. Just another couple of steps. His eyes. Go to the telephone. Quick. Quick. Operator. Operator. Silas. Oh, yeah, yes. Yeah. Quick. How can I until the operator? Hello, operator. Tell her, Sam. Operator. Operator, please get me the police. Quick. Some... Some came into our house that was stumping. Sam, he's getting up again. Police operator. The police. Sam, before. hang up. The police. Hang up, Sam. He don't like it. Sam. No, oh, you're crazy. Why he's tearing me out of my hand. Don't like it. Look. Oh, Sam, don't let him. No, no. no it's all right. Just stand quiet. Squad car will get here. A couple of minutes. A couple of minutes. Like a couple of years. Oh, Sam, listen. Why can't we break a window? Get the neighbors in. We won't be alone. They won't be scared. They'll get him. Please. Oh. I, I got my throat. They'll go away. Come in. Come in quick. You say I could come in? All right, I'm in. I'm the superintendent's kid. Oh. Get out of here, quick! Huh? Don't stand there, get out of here, quick! Well, you said I could come in! You go, do as I tell you. Go quick, the boy! Nora, wait! What? Let me talk to her. But, I got to! Oh, what's the matter with you two? Look at me as if I was something in a zoo or something! Harleen, tell me. Keep your voice down. Hmm? Why did you come in here? I knocked first. Sure, I did I not? No, 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 no. Why did you what? come up here? Well, my pa was busy. He told me to come up and tell you he'd call the plumbers. And they said they'd be over as soon as the agent okayed the job. So my pa said to tell you. No, 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 wait. That doesn't matter. What I want to know is... Sam, why... he's watching her now. Gee, Mr. Crook. Is she sick? She's looking right at him. Mr. Crook, what's the matter? Can't you see? No. 
I don't. Oh, gosh. Mary, you do see. Oh, I say I do. She will probably be sore. What are you talking about? My car. Will he be sore, that busted window? Window? He, he says it's bad enough the extra work he's got to do around here without climbing around putting in windows that kids break. Don't you see? Sure, I see. Gosh, you think I'm the dope or something? Why well, go down and tell my car? Oh, wait a minute. Well? well? How could the kids break a window up here in your flat? I mean, it's the fifth floor. Oh, Sam, tell her. Tell her. Take it easy, Mrs. Croft. You don't have to tell me. So you had a fight and broke the glass. Say, that happens in the best regulated families. Don't say I told you, but last week, you know, Mr. Bannerman, who the drug is selling for, he threw a lamp at Mrs. Bannerman and he busted. Get out. No, Sam, she can't. Get out, I tell you, go on out. Right away, right away. Go on, you're the me. Now you'll pay for that window, believe me. I'll tell my pop play. Sam, she could have helped us. You threw her out. Why? She could have helped no, us. Oh, no, no. She could have. He, he, he let her in. Stop it. You'd have let me tell her. You could have called the neighbors. They'd have... Stop oh, it, I Sam, said. Stop Sam. it. He gets restless when you talk so loud. Sam, why didn't you let her help Because, us? Dora, because, listen, and then don't talk when the cops get up here. The reason she couldn't help us, they can't help us, is it? Don't you understand? He was looking at her all the time, and she was staring right where he's sitting, and yet she didn't see him. Oh. You do know what I'm thinking. Maybe, maybe no one can see him. But you and me. Now, uh, just a minute, Mr. Uh, Croc, or whatever your name is. Let's get this straight. You never put in a call. Officer, I tell you. Look around you. Oh, are you starting that line again? Mrs. Croc, why don't you tell me what's up? My wife has nothing to say. I'm asking her, fella. So you had a little fight with him, huh, lady? Then he got a little rough. You picked up the telephone, you hollered for the police. Is that it, lady? All right. Now, there's something screwy going on up here. I don't know what it is, but I'm waiting for you to tell me. Come on, Croc, it's in your face. Out with it. You... You don't see anything? I see plenty. You and your wife sitting here staring at nothing. Nothing? Listen, Mr. Please, listen. I'm listening. Take out your gun. Shoot him. Kill him. Huh? Who? There, in back of you. Grant. Dora, I beg you. Hey, mister, what is she talking in about? In back of you. Look. Why don't you look? Nobody in back of me, lady. I told you, Dora. You I told her what, Croc? What is it? I told you. I told you. Why don't you listen to me? There. Sitting there, staring at me, at you. Get him out of here. Oh, that's it. You see him. You do. Sammy sees him. He'll help us. He will. He will. You will, Sergeant. You will. Well, well, sure. Why not? I told you, Sam. Yeah, get a doctor over here from Bellevue in a couple of hours. Bellevue? Well, take it easy, lady. Nobody's going to hurt you. Do you think that she's crazy? Yeah, sure. And I might have guessed it. I'll be back in a couple hours. No, no, I'm not crazy. Listen to me. He's sitting there watching me, watching Sam. I'm not crazy. I'm telling you, it's true. It's true. Oh, why won't you listen? Why won't you listen? <laughs> Uh, 
Are you asleep? No, Sam. Glad your eyes shut. Must be almost six. Yeah, it's getting light. I haven't stayed up all night since I was a kid. Yeah, I was 12. Wanted to see what dawn was like, so I stayed up. Sam. Huh? Sam. I figured something out. Figured? For hours I've been thinking. Something about his face. Well? His mouth. It's just like yours. No, I'm all right, Sam. I told you. I've just been watching and thinking. Mouth. Just like yours. You don't, don't. don't say anything. Just look. Well? His eyes. Huh? I, I never noticed. What? His eyes. Like yours. <gasps> When you're crazy mad. Look at his eyes. Dora, am I right? I, I don't know. All I know is his mouth. When you choked me before. Your teeth. Were they? Yes. Dora. What? The way... The way the light shines. The left side of his face. Huh? You. What? You, when you scream at me. Your skin. Like a skull. Dora, that side looks like you. Sam. I swear. No, Sam. Like you. What? What what are you? The other side of his face. All night I've been trying to figure. Sam, it is like you. Part you? Part me? Yes. No. No, it can't be. It isn't sane. It's crazy. It can't. It can't be. How can a thing... I tell you, it isn't real. It isn't... Sam, what's the use yelling it isn't real when it's sitting there? You're... You're not afraid at all? No. I don't think I am. Why? That thing. Just the worst of you. And the worst of me. Huh? Oh, Sam, I'm so tired. Maybe I can't talk straight, but... That thing. Part you when you wanted to kill me and part me when I wanted you dead. Don't you see? I think I do. He's getting up. Yes. Looking at me. Sam, I'm getting a little afraid again. Oh, Sam, quickly before anything happens. Tell me why you've hated me so much. Well, well, I... Tell me, quick. Well, the the last year, I worked so hard, it wasn't enough for you. Never enough. I couldn't figure out why, except you hated me. Why did you, Dora? I, I didn't. I, I only... Yes, I did watch it in my head. I've hated you ever since that night you lost. What happened? Remember? You ought to Remember? A kid, you said? Not me, not in this lousy world. Fill the house with anything you want, but no kids, never. So that was it. That was it. Why didn't you talk? Talk? Don't you know yet? All my life, I, the things I, I, I really feel, I, I can't. I talk about them inside me. I, I cry. I hate you. <laughs> Sam. Gone? Yes. How can it be? Gone. Sam, go see. Yes, yes, I will. Excuse me, Mr. Croc. Uh, pardon me so early, but uh, I saw the light under the floor there, and I heard you talking. What is it, Superintendent? Well, nothing, except I was wondering, last night my girl, you know, Arlene, she came downstairs with all kinds of crazy talk about you and the missus. You know how kids are. I was wondering, well, somebody said cops came in the building last night about 9 or 10 o'clock, and I can't figure out where they went. Did they come in here? I mean, well, I mean, did anything happen here last night? Oh, (laughs) 
Mrs. Clark, I didn't see you standing there. <laughs> well, did anything happen here last night? Last night? Yeah. Anything happen? Uh, no, no, nothing. Oh. Oh, well, then, uh, excuse me. No, wait. Wait, Superintendent. Huh? Wait. There is something. Huh? There's a couple of windows to be fixed. Broadcasting System.